Hello and welcome back to some Danganronpa. This is part seven and we are, everything is lovely. A new area of the school opened up. We've got some free time to go and see who we want to spend some time with. Um, I don't really know. I don't have a like personal, I don't need to spend time with anyone. I might just like <laughs> skip past these parts for the purposes of like showing you guys the story. Um, but yeah, every so often, like, you have a couple days, sometimes like three days in a row where you just have to go up to a random person and, and chat with them, spend some time with them. You can give them presents, uh, which is really cute and it gets you trophies and, and it gets you like power-ups that you can use for the class trials. Because, spoiler alert, uh, there will be more murders, there will be more class trials. Um, it is not just Sayaka to bite the dust. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna like uh, skip past the free time here. Uh, I'll take this opportunity to say, you know, welcome back. I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, I'm gonna try and get more of these out. Um, maybe hopefully twice a week, that's the dream. But I'm obviously, I'm very busy at the minute. So um, videos every Friday seems to be manageable for me for now. <laughs> it's 10 p.m. and the doors, doors are open. locked. Sweet dreams, everyone. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Another day gone. What have I done all day? Slept all day. Oh man, the dream. But even though today is over, oh, that was kind of like a pun. Slept all day, the dream. Anyway, yes, today is over. This game definitely isn't. How long is this gonna keep going? Bum, bum, bum. All the stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late into the night. Biaki, I was being a real douche yesterday, wasn't he? Marakuo. Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. I can't help it, I just gaze with intensity. The other day, I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. I. What? <laughs> oh, I love him. I love him so much. He's so bonkers. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good. Get ready it is now 7 a.m. Everybody get your butts out of bed. It's time to greet another beautiful day. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall before anything else. Let's -a go. I like it when the game's like, right, sometimes we'll just teleport you right there and then other times we'll kind of make you walk there. Uh, so there we go. There's the dining hall. <laughs> I went to the breakfast meeting, same as always. But, 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 is this everyone? Feels a little small. Byakuya and Toku had stormed off yesterday and it wasn't too surprising that they hadn't come today. Even the table looks bigger somehow. I assume that is because three people are dead and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kind of empty. Still, I know Byakuya's whatever, but we shouldn't be- shouldn't we go check on Toko? For serious? I don't- no, she's super annoying. <laughs> How can you be so cold? You are like a piece of rock candy. What? Me? No! Rock candy isn't cold, it's sweet! <laughs> anyway, Byakuya is a real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. We got no choice. Get some rope. We're gonna have to keep him bound and gagged. I think that is going a little bit overboard. He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns loose cannon. It's like when we were kids and someone would go crazy at sports day or whatever. What, what the fuck are you talking about? Are you gonna use that rope to do a tug of war or something? Idiot. I'm not an idiot. You're an idiot. Who are you calling are you? stupid? Oh, Chihiro. Oh, what's wrong, Chihiro? You don't look so great. Oh, I'm just going through a little self-loathing. Huh? Self-loathing? Well, after what Byakuya said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous. I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Mondo wound up having to help me out. And even he said I was someone who can't fight back. Oh, I hate how weak I am. Ah, oh, I see. So Mondo made you depressed. 
What? How is it my fault? What? I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyway, right? Are you crying? It's because you were screaming like a lunatic. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Don't cry. It's it's my fault, okay? I, I won't yell at you anymore. Really? Not sure I can believe that. Huh? Just shut up. Why? I got it. I'll make you a what? promise as a man. Huh? Promise as a man? Yeah, yeah maybe right. I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said that no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Um... Left you? Oh, yeah. My brother's dead. Oh, I see. That's anyway, true. I don't want to talk about it. Don't want to make all you guys cry. No. Anyway, you can trust me when I make that promise. So now you gotta- now you- so you don't gotta cry anymore. Oh my god, bad grammar. Bad grammar. Bad- so you don't have to cry anymore, young women. Okay. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mondo. Sh sure. But, but I still don't like how I am right now. I have to get stronger. If I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. That's not good. Oh, girl, same. Don't worry about it. You're fine. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. Um, no, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. But in that case, I would be happy to help you out anytime. But then Miss Fujisaki would get smashed into a billion pieces. Just Shut up, second. you. <laughs> you know? Oh, finally cracked a smile, huh? I see. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone, thank you. Looks like Chihiro's gotten some life back. Yeah, man. If we keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, I'm sure. Yeah. Still, our biggest concern right now is the other two, who never showed up to breakfast. What can I do to try and understand those two better? Okay, so what should I do today? So I guess that's hinting that you should go and spend some time with them. I will let um, that remain a mystery. Like it's not really like anything you kind of say to them in the free time. It doesn't really build on the story, it just gives you some kind of backstory about what the characters are like. And um, it's kind of, it's, it's, I don't even know if it's, it might be slightly different depending on what part of the story you're at, but it doesn't really add much to the, uh, the overall story. So we're just skipping past it just now. I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I better get something to eat before it's nighttime. I should head to the dining hall then, I guess. Did they not say there was like a parlor now? Like a, like a storage room full of stuff. I would be going there. I just wanted to get something to eat. And now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually, no, I guess I'm already roped in. Hey, Makoto, perfect timing. Uh, what's going on? Hey, Dan. I have a favor to ask. A favor? I have a bad feeling about this. Who, who had the favor? Mondo. Hey, Come on, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. What? what? Witness to what? what? This guy been talking shit about me since day one. Calling me a coward and shit like that. You're you correct. are a coward. That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems. Yeah. That's why you can't do what society asks of you. Why you walk around dressed like that? Uh. The fuck you say? Yeah. You don't know shit. You hear You've me? already lost it yourself, but you're such a coward that you don't even realize it. So what, you're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? I know I am. Okay then, let's throw down, prove you got what I don't got. I accept your challenge. What? So what's, that's what's happening, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. You're gonna throw down? You're not gonna like start 
punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With a sauna inside? I see. I see. A simple endurance contest, is it? Got We're gonna it. see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? Piece Goddamn straight! Because <laughs> that's the logical, the logical thing to do. So are you guys really gonna go through with this? Stop Shit yeah! Around. He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him are, without exception, all talk. You want to bring down. it on? Hell, let's make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting. You We're gonna battle bitch. with all our clothes on. <laughs> That's idiotic. Suicidal. You Why are you afraid? You're going to regret this. Shut up and let's do this. Oh my god. Hey, Mondo. <laughs> it's terrible on his hair. <laughs> what asshole? You can take off your uniform, you know? Go ahead. I won't judge. And you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? just so happens, I was born with a red face. You don't have to act all big, man. He's really ripped for like a high schooler. Look at that, like, look at that bod. Like, he's like, what, 15? What the hell? Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. They're going to die. <laughs> Are they... okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed, then a few dozen minutes, then an hour. An hour? That would honestly, that would kill you. It's about time. You gave up. What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. <laughs> Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. That's probably not good. Hey, uh, guys? I know you both want to prove how big of badasses you are, but don't you think you've done enough? Shut up! <laughs> Ugh, I just can't win. Uh oh. It's 10 p.m. It's night time, guys. We have to go to bed. Hey, did you hear that? It's night time. How about we call it a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. You win or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. Listen to you, you son of a bitch. Then bring it on. Uh, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. I feel like this image is like how I feel right now in the UK heat wave. Like I feel like it's it's eerily accurate. I wish I had long hair protruding from the front of my face that I could hang my towel on. The gates of hell. That is not a good place to push someone. Th this isn't good, guys. Yeah. You hear him? Better crawl on back to your room. I'll let you know how it went. In the morning, then you can start spreading my my legend. My legend. <laughs> Come tomorrow morning, you'll fall down in front of me, down on your knees. I'll show you where to do it. Oh God, I'm a bit suggestive, huh? Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode right back at you. Okay, well, good night then. I really hope those two don't overdo it, but I'm sure to the death? No, surely they wouldn't go that far. Uh. The concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. Ba 
If fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive, because I don't know! That's why I desperately cling to life! ba da da dum ba dum ba da da dum ba dum Good morning, everyone! Good morning! Get ready! Beautiful day! Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taka survived. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. And when I entered... <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what the... Yo. Hey, Makoto! Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Uh, are they friends now? They've been like this all morning. They were all buddy-buddy as soon as they walked in. Feels gross. What? Feels gross? Hell no! Feels great more like. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. Ain't that right. What you just said? Bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Without no, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. <laughs> so, uh, who won the contest? Piece who of gives shit. a shit? Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Oh. Yeah, for real. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. So, what should I do today? Same thing we do every day. Uh, Makoto would go to bed all day. Uh, uh, doorbell? Hmm, who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. It's... Ah, Toko. Hello. T Toko, what's the matter? What's Why are you problem? so surprised? Am I really that annoying? Well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so... That makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. <laughs> I have a favor to ask. I want you to g go somewhere with me. And where is it you want to go? Well, well. the library. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakuya? He spends all his time in the library anyway. <gasps> Did I say something wrong? You're not a blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> then let's go to the library. Okay, I got it. The library. Jeez, why so pushy? <laughs> quiet, be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and quietly, gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here. Oh, he's really here. Okay, Makoto, go talk to him. What? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. Okay, hi. He seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back there? I hate even having to look at you. 
Ah, so you know it's me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Now hurry up and leave. Hmm. And take her with you. <laughs> hey, um, Byakya. Remember how you said, <laughs> don't be a woman who dominates weak men. Be a woman dominated by a strong man. Hmm. I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Get out. And go take a bath. You smell. Don't make me, repeat Don't make me say it again. Go now before your stench latches onto the entire room. Okay. Ooh. Snap. He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Biakia, to go that far? He must be really concerned about me. Huh? He told me to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Hey, Makoto. What do you think? Think? About what? Do you think Biakia and I would be good together? Uh, well, neither I uh, don't really know. That's true. There's really no way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. Okay. There might come a day why, when you understand. Maybe someday. Well, bye. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Ah, young love. Wah! Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. -dum -bum -bum. Ba -da -dum. There's still some time left in the day. What should we do? <laughs> we should definitely just go to sleep so we can see more of the story. Because I'm actually like, my attention span must be terrible because I'm already like looking forward to the next YouTube series. <laughs> Uh, I want to play Grease sometime, so if you're watching this at time of upload, look forward to some Grease. Nighttime is all students. Oh. Please gather in the gym immediately. Oh, okay. Emergency! Emergency! Emergency? In the gym? Gather in the gym? Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. To the gym! <sighs> it is this way. Making me walk to the gym. How dare you, game. Oh, it's hot in here. I closed my window because I was, uh... Monokuma voice is very loud. And people kind of walk past my house and I'm like, ooh, I should probably close the window. <laughs> um, but now I am suffering. I would turn my fan on, but it would uh, blow on the mic. Hmm. Asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this? What could he possibly want? Well. Indeed, what might await us this time? <laughs> he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up? Mm hmm. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. Hmm. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What? Is I'm not this? in denial. That reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever might come help us? 
How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatever of possible rescue. Well, Th that's just. Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange. That's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck. On the contrary, the mastermind may just be that powerful to take control even over the police. Could it Aww, be? this might not be related, but... Then don't say it. Nope, hmm. gonna say it. It's, not like it's about last mystery. night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space, when all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that... I don't really know what it was. What kind of sound? Well, hmm. like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it, Could it was it like a construction site, I guess? A construction site? I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. Then you <laughs> definitely made it up. Must have just been the sound of that ocean in that head of yours. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? I don't actually know who this is. Oh, it's Monokuma. Say what? <laughs> Boing. <gasps> He's arrived. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction. But it could have been an explosion. Huh? Or maybe a machine gun? Ooh, that can kinda sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? Ah, beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. Yeah. Fine, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? See, you don't beat around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? But before that, you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably because of this hoo-hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation, something rife with danger and intrigue. Yeah. Listen, can I just be frank? The next hey, blackened hasn't I'm shown up yet black. and I'm getting bored. Hey, so um, I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Uh, are you going to show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. You hear I don't me? know what you've got planned, but we are not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. That's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's... Embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things that you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating of my own and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now, so take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. Akoto wet the bed until he was in the fifth grade. What? How? How did you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. You have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become black and by then, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassingest secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate. 
Yeah, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. Nothing, none of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we'd never kill over something like that. What'd you say? He's right, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This oh is no. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect with the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know, no matter what. So I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. And you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? Well, that just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then. In 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. So okay. sad. So depressed. Fair not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym steps. I didn't look at... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. I mean, um, yeah, having those secrets revealed is gonna be totally embarrassing. But that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Good news, me. everyone. I have a brilliant idea. Why don't we all just confess the secrets on those envelopes right here and now? If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. Pretty smart, right? Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... I don't want to hear your stupid story. What? Besides, I don't... I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. As Neither do me. I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh. Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. Absolutely not. Come it's on. okay. Come just on. a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, As I said... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard! <laughs> I agree with them, there's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Chihiro? Uh -oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are. So maybe I can talk about it later? After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So if you don't want to talk, um, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's if true. everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one who suggested it, I gotta say no. Well, that's okay then. Either way, it's just a few secrets. I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret so bad you'd kill someone to keep it? Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't gonna be fun, but it's not like we're gonna die because of it. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. No, uh, okay. Sorry, I know it's gonna be tough, but... Ooh, Ooh. <clears throat> it's officially nighttime. Sweet okay. dreams, everyone. We better go to bed. Hmm. Nighttime already, huh? Okay, let's just call it a day. Good idea, we need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but... We left things as they were, and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our dorms. Do, 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 do. Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why without too much of a struggle. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. <gasps> Sweet 
dreams, everyone. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active. I mean, for example, it's the difference between like, whoops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. Da -da 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 -da. Morning. Good. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. Well, what are you doing here? I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? Because it's fun. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates? What? Oh, what, 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 what? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What? What happened? What are you talking about? Oh no, my battery's low. <laughs> That's for me to know and for you to find out. Good luck. Something's happened to someone? Is it? Was it? No. It can't be. There's no way someone would... But what if, no, what, what ifs are pointless, especially now when, the dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Ah, oh, Makoto. Are you okay? Um, Did hey. Manakuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and Yahya. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? Either they're already off to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? After hearing what Monokuma, ha Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. So, if something really did happen, does this mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. Hm. Just old memories. Don't be sure about that. Clearly, someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook? Do you realize how dangerous that is? What? what? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Never. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good does it do for me to go out of my way to help you? Just stop Just saying that already. Uh, There's something um, wrong with him for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's She's hard. right. Let's all split up and begin looking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the game is a fit. I know exactly where to go. What could have happened, guys? Was it another murder? 
Was it just another one of Monokuma's tricks? He does like to trick us. What could have happened? Where are all the missing people? Where, where could they be? Huh? The door is open. But aren't these supposed to be locked? For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Investigation? It's all clear. Just as I thought. Byakia! Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt, a murder really has taken place. Come on. And the locker rooms? They're suspicious, very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? It seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. He was muttering, as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girls' locker room door and the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. What? I don't know how long it took me for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at, but as soon as I did, A wild, almost primeval stream escapes from my mouth. Chihiro. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. The Akuya, on the other hand, Very most strange. unusual. Don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow, and something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust? Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? Her. How could it not be brutal? Hm. No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. Hm. It's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling, too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head... Hey, I heard screaming, did something... <laughs> Chihiro! A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! What the hell was that? What? Ah, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceeds fairly? A body discovery announcement? Then Chihiro really is... Naturally. Dead. Yes. Guys, Chihiro is dead! No! She was one of my favourite characters. She's so cute. It's so sad. So, so sad. Tell you what, we are definitely going to avenge this murder. We're going to do an investigation, figure out who did it, and they will be punished. I promise you. Join us in the next episode for the investigation, and uh, hopefully we can figure out together who did this. To poor little Chihiro, how dare they? She was the best. 
thank you so much for all of your support remember to subscribe for new videos every friday i'll try my best to to do more than that but you know every friday is it's it's not bad it could be worse <laughs> you guys are awesome please keep being here i'll see you again goodbye take care farewell